Yo, what's up? What's going on? Uh, hopefully that you will find this useful. Uh, good luck on your tests. Let's get started. All right, right here it says write the standard equation from a parabola from the directions of x equals negative five and a focus of three four. All right, and it says write the list, write the information for the directions, or list the information for the directions. All right, so. All right, so real quick, man, I'm going to do a little rough sketch over here in the corner so you can see, right? If you have a directrix, we'll use that right there. If I have a directrix at x equals negative 5, all right, let's say hypothetically that's x equals negative 5, right? And the focus is at 3, 4. Four, right? That's the focus, that green dot, right? Three, four. All right, well, we know this is a parabola, but we just gotta find, um, and by the way, <coughs> this is x equals three. We gotta find the, uh, the middle value, all right, or the vertex. So if you go from negative five to zero, that's five. And five to three is, uh, I mean, at zero to three is three. That's a total distance of eight. So halfway would be four, which means my vertex is right here. All right, which is negative one, four. All right, I'll do that again. The distance from negative five to zero, because remember this is x is zero, is five. And the distance from five, oh, excuse me, from zero to three is three. So five plus three is eight. So half of that would be four. So if I count back four, or count up for I have negative one, so negative one four. Let me write that a little clear. I'll do that by zooming in. Negative one, so negative one four. All right. So now that we have the parabola, well, we have the vertex. All right, that's the vertex. All right, we have the vertex. We can uh, write this equation. So this is horizontal. So remember that equation, uh, y minus k squared equals four p times x minus h. All right, so y minus k, uh, k is gonna be four. See, k is four, y minus four squared equals four times p, well p is the distance from here to the focus, so that's four. All right, four times four, x minus, or x plus one, because this is a negative one, all right? So y minus four squared equals 16, x plus one. All right, there is our parabola equation. So there's our standard form right there, all right? Uh, list of information from the director for the directories. Hmm. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna keep rolling. Alright, right here, part two, it says graph the uh, given the graph on the right, identify the cunning and write and standard equation list the critical values. Alright, that's a that's an ellipse. Yeah, because that's nine. Six, seven, eight. That's eight. So this is an ellipse. All right, so we have an ellipse. So first of all, we find the center. The center here is all right. Uh, eight, eight, nine, negative nine. Let me zoom out. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, there's an ellipse right here. It's my center. So my center is zero, zero. All right. My major axis is gonna be a distance of 18 because from negative 9 to 9 is a distance of 18 and then from 8 to 8 negative 8 my minor axis <laughs> my minor axis is going to be 8 or 16 excuse me so a couple things all right first of all this is a horizontal ellipse so remember uh x uh minus h nope yeah x minus a squared over uh, a B. This is horizontal. So A squared plus Y minus K 
squared over b squared equals one. All right, so there's our equation for an ellipse. All right, so before I plug everything in, remember, let's identify a. All right, a is the distance from the center of the center. Zero, zero. All right, a is the distance from the center along the major axes. So that's nine, that's nine, so a is nine. All right, b is the distance from the center to the co vertices, all right? So from here to there is eight, all right? Uh, and then we need to find C. Nope, we don't need C, actually. Well, if we find a focus, we need C. Identify the cunning and write the standard equation. Right, let's do, all right, we're good. All right, so I just plug everything in for the standard equation. So X minus H, well, that's zero. So that's X squared over 81 plus y minus k or y minus zero. So that's y squared. You know what, you don't need parentheses. That's y squared over 64 equals one. There's your standard equation. Um, list the critical values, I, I don't know. I guess you can list these co-vertices right here. All right, if you want to list that out, you can say, um, negative nine zero, you say nine zero, you say uh, zero eight and zero negative eight. All right, co vertices, these are your vertices, and these are your co vertices, co right here, center. And then if you want to find the focus, remember you do a squared minus b squared equals c squared for the ellipse. All right, so nine squared minus eight squared equals c squared, so that's 81 minus 64, so you can see squared, that I believe is going to be 11 minus 4, 7, so 17 equals c squared, all right, and then you square root both sides, uh, and get c equals square root 17, all right, so then you find a focus, which will be along the major axis, all right, so 0 plus the square root 17, um, I don't really know what that is, but it's on this axis right here. You just plot it, all right? All right, for this next point, right, it says list the center, co-vertices, vertices, and foci. All right, write an equation. Um, excuse me, write the equation for the asymptotes. All right. So, let's see here. Uh, so, center, YH. Oh, by the way, this is in a hyperbola, guys. Hyperbola. Hola. All right. Hyperbola or hyperbola. Alright, I know that because see how y minus uh k is over here and x minus uh h is right here. Also this minus sign right here tells me it's a hyperbola. Alright, so anyway, a and b won't change. So let me do that real quick. A equals four, b equals uh three. Alright, and if I see use Pythagorean theorem. Which is 16 uh, a squared plus b squared, so plus 9, that's 25 squared root 25, c equals 5. All right, um, yeah, I use Pythagorean theorem right there a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find c. Anyway, uh, right here, so the center, remember the center is h and k, so this is going to be uh, negative 1, 2. All right, negative one, H, K, two, right? Um, now I gotta find the co-vertices. So because of this direction right here, all right, with B being first, that tells me that it's a hyperbola. Now, the thing to remember with hyperbolas is because Y came first, all right, that means, well, this is Y, this is uh, X. So because the Y squared came first, this is vertical. All right, this is a vertical hyperbola. All right, so from this point right here, I'm gonna go up four. All right, if I had a grid right here, I'd draw it out. But think like two, I'm gonna go up four. So two plus four is six. So one of the vertices, one of the vertices is gonna be negative one, six. And the other one, I'm gonna go down six. So, all right, or down four, excuse me, down four. So two minus four would be, uh, negative two, all right. 
them right there. So those are my vertices. For my co-vertices, all right, I got to go left three and right three. So if I would love three, negative one minus three would be negative four, two. And the other one would be right three. So negative one plus three would be two, two. All right, notice the Y value didn't change right here. All right, uh, and then I've got to do the foci, all right, which is still on the same axis as the vertex. All right, so I gotta go up five and down five. All right, so two plus five is seven. So I have for my full side, eight of one, seven. And for the other full side, I have, I gotta go down five, so negative three. Two minus five is negative three. So remember these two vertex and the uh, focus on the same exact axis, all right? Same axis. Um, write the equation of an asymptote. Oh, we got to do the asymptote. Well, being that this is vertical, that uh, equation is going to be y equals plus or minus a divided by b times x minus h plus k. All right, so we'll do y equals a divided by 3 x minus h. What was that h was? 1. Plus k, k was two. Oh, h was h was negative one, so that'd be plus like that. All right. Uh, okay, cool. So anyway, what we're gonna do here is make sure plus one and k was two. So two. All right, cool. So we just simplify this. All right, so really or it's plus or minus by the way so that's your equation i'm gonna leave the equation like that plus or minus all right now last thing or number four i said last thing we got a long way to go hey write the standard equation of the ellipse of the full side of two four negative four four and co vertices one negative four and negative one two all right cool so again, I'm doing a lot of this algebraically too. If it helps you to sketch a little graph sketch it. All right, first I need to find a distance from right here. Now notice these are the same. So all I need to do is find a distance from here to here. All right, so from, from the um, origin, this is a distance of two, and that's a distance of four. We're using a whole distance of six. All right, which means if that's six, here, I'll tell you what. If that's the full side, then I mean C is six. All right. Actually, C would be three. Sorry, because that axis would be six. Right? We take half of that. For the co-vertices, all right, those are the same. So I'm not looking at those. All right, that's a distance from six to two. That's a distance of four, which means B equals two. All right, so I can find A with this information. Remember with an ellipse, A squared minus B squared equals C squared. So I don't have A. So A squared minus uh, two squared equals three squared. So four, nine, nine minus four is five. So A equals the square root of five. Like that. Now, uh, we have that, and we want to find the center, all right? So, let me go ahead and show you what the sketch. It's a little crooked. There we go. All right, so I have a full side at a two up four. And another full side at negative four or four, right? And then I have negative one six and negative one two, I believe. Alright, so the center is somewhere in there. The vert I also gotta find those. Alright. 
Well, I just need to send it really. Um, so, gotta find a sender. So, remember I said from full side to full side, which is right here, 2 4, and they go 4 4. I said that's a distance of 6. So, if I count by 3, right, if I go 2 back 3, I'm at negative 1. Or if I count up, right, I'm at negative 1, you can also see this intersects at negative 1. So, my center is negative 1 4. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, again, let me explain it. All right, see where they intersect at? This intersects at negative one right there, <laughs> and this one intersects at four, right? Is it four along the x, y axis? Negative one along the x axis, that's my center, negative one, four. So now it's an ellipse, all right? And remember, this is the full size, so the vertex are right here somewhere. So this is horizontal, it's longer than it is short, right? Something like that. So because it's horizontal, x plus one, oops, x plus one, square all over, a goes first. So square root of five squared would be five. All right, and then y minus k, squared all over b squared, so four equals one. That's our standard equation. List of information for the center, vertices, co and full side. All right, cool. Wait, we didn't just do this one. No, we didn't just do that one. All right. Uh, so center, cool. Oh, by the way, this is an ellipse, guys, because the plus right here. All right, S center, so four, negative two, A equals four, B equals, oh, it's horizontal, two, by the way, because A, remember A has to be greater than B, so if you take the square root of that, it's four, and you take the square root of that, it's three, so A has to be larger than B, and then since A is first, that tells me it's horizontal. Um, and then C will be five guys, because that's a three, four, five triangle. All right. Um, uh, actually, no, C is not five because I forgot what the ellipse. A squared minus B squared equals C squared, right? So let's fix that. I talked the gun. If it was Pythagorean theorem, it'll work out, but it doesn't. So sixteen minus nine would be five. So this would be the square root of five. Right there. Right there. 16 minus 9 equals C squared. There you go. That's where I got it from. Right? 7. Oops. 7. Goodness gracious. Yo, this is the, uh, my math skills. Are... Oh, I'm sleepy. Anyway, square root of 7. So, here we go. Center. Boom. We know this is horizontal. So, let me do you a little sketch so you can see what I'm talking about. So, from, from the center, since it's horizontal, 4, negative 2. I got to go right 4. So, 8, negative 2 is my first vertex. And minus 4, 0, negative 2. Is my second vertex. For my co vertices, I'm gonna do it in blue. I'm gonna go up three. So negative two plus three is one. So four, one is my co vertex one. And then negative two minus three will be negative five. So four, negative five. Notice I just went down. Is my co vertex two. And then my foci, where's my calculator at? Let me do this with the calculator. So we can make it a boatload easy. All right, so I got my calculator, I had to pull it out. Uh, remember your center is four, negative two. Here's the major axis. 
Alright, so right here, I would just do, I gotta go this way. So remember, this is four, right? So let's do another color. Sorry, block. For my full side, I'm gonna add to four. So the square root of seven, if I do four plus, uh, four plus the square root of seven, oops. Boom, there we go. That gives me 6.6. .6. So, 6.6, I'm just gonna put it there for the sake of 6.6 .6, comma negative two would be my first full side. All right, then we're gonna do this for minus the square root of seven, which is 1.3, so I'll put it right here, 1.4. 1. 1.4 comma negative 2 is my full side number 2 right there. Alright, so there's our ellipse. I know it's a terrible sketch, but there you go. Alright, alright, keep this train going right here. List of center and radius. Awesome, guys. Center. I took up a lot of space. Center equals negative two five and r equals four over here center this is a this is our ellipse 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 alright I know it's an ellipse um because again a has to be greater than b so that means a is five B is 2. That means A is right here. It says A is here. This is vertical. It's vertical. Did I think with that other one? You know what I realized? I think I did. Oh, this is a hyperbola. No, we're good. We're good. Let's keep going. Anyway. Um, so center of this ellipse is going to be... Four, negative four, comma, negative one. Um, we got that. Oh, so for my vertice. Oh, this is it's longer like this, y'all. It's oblong like that. So anyway, for my first vertex, I got add five. So vertex. So the, the x values won't change, but if I add five to that, <coughs> I'm at four. And if I subtract five, I'm at negative six. For my co-vertices, notice the x values will change. All right, so I'm going to go negative four plus two. So negative four plus two would be negative two. And negative four minus two would be negative six. And then I gotta find C real quick. So 25 minus four is gonna give me 21. And the square root of 21, I don't like it. Anyway, we're gonna with the square root of 21. C equals square root of 21. Ah, I hate when we get ugly numbers. So remember, my focus is on the same change as this, so the x values will be the same. Man, I wish I could hear this wind blowing by my house. It's amazing. So the x values won't change here because it's long, so the y value will change with the full side inside right here. So negative 4. So I'm going to take negative 4. Plus square root of 21 is a negative, yeah, negative 4 plus. Negative 4 plus square root of 21, and that is 5.58. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not negative 4. Holy moly. I just confused somebody. I know I did, and then my apologies if I did. I just said the x values won't change, the y values will change. So negative one, negative one 
plus the square root of 21. It's 3.5 or 3.6. And negative 1 minus the square root of 21 is going to be negative, oh, here I'm going to write right here, negative 5.6, like that. Those are my two focus. My foci, foci, ah, foci, alright? Because look, listen, that is inside of that, but that 3.6. Is still less than the negative four four, right? You see it? Let's go to fit inside. All right, let's keep this ship going. Ship, ship, ship. I make sure you understand. I said ship. All right. <laughs> Write a standard equation from this hyperbola. So the center is zero zero. The co-vertice is right here. I mean a vertice, excuse me. Alright, let's do this real quick with these hyperbolas. Uh center zero zero. So I have H and K. I need A. So A would be two. I need B. And you can't see it, but there's a line right there. So one, two, three, one, two, three, that's a line right there. I just had the little dash line. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. That's where I got it from. So the co-vertices are three. And then we do Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared to find C. So four plus nine is 13. So C equals square root 13. All right. I don't even need that to make the equation. I just need these. I don't know what I'm thinking for. All right, hyperbola is vertical. All right, so when it's vertical, uh, we got to put y first. So y squared, because y minus zero, all over a squared minus uh, a squared, because h is zero, all over b squared, which is nine, equals one. There's our equation for that. Right there. Is there is a constant on the radio for prizes, and you put the prize values in the matrix. What would the values be in this contest occur three times a day for four days? All right. So let's make this matrix. All right. So, thinking about this one, alright, uh, put those prizes into a matrix. Alright, cool. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two matrices. Alright, how we'll do that is the first matrix would be a 1 by 3. I'd put that in my calculator. Um, so, 1 by 3, 500, 250, I mean 150. And then the other matrix I would do would be a 2 by 1. All right, and the reason I'm saying two by one is because it occurred three times a day for four times. Excuse me, three times a day for four days. So that one would be three, not three divided by four. It would be three, four, like that. All right, now notice this is a three by one. This is a two by one. All right, I mean one by three. Sorry, guys. One by three. One row, three columns, and that one right there is a two rows, one column. So the most part of these, you have to do this like this times this like that, and then you end up with a two by three matrix. All right, which would be I uh, just did it. So. 1500, 300, 150, 2000, um, 400, and 200, right there. Yup, cause think about it, you gotta have, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. All 
right there. Fire. Three times there were four days. Yeah, that's 12 drawings, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, two by three. All right, cool. All right, for this equation right here, uh, it says write the standard equation for the parabola shown. List the vertex focus and directions. All right, so let's do it. The vertex is this is two. This is negative two. Okay, cool. So negative one, one two, three. negative one, three. Or, sorry, negative three, negative one. So vertex, negative three, negative one. All right, the directions, ironically, is right there. Y equals negative three. And then the focus, all right, see how you had to go down one, two, all right, because we're at negative one. So one, two, well, you got to go up two. So one, two, you'll be at one, right? Because negative one plus two is one. So the focus would be same x value, up two. I mean, yeah, up two. So it would be one right there. That's your focus right there. Oh, right standard equation. I forgot to do that part. So it opens up. So x minus eight squared equals four p times uh, y minus k. So if you look, p is two. See, one, two. So p is two. So x minus or x plus three squared equals four times two y minus or y plus y. That's a standard equation. All right, more connects. 11. That's the center vertices, co vertices, foci, right? Foci, right? The equation of the asymptote. So, <clears throat> first of all, this is a hyperbola because of the minus. All right, and x came first right there. So when x comes first, that tells us that we have a horizontal hyperbola. Alright, like that. Alright. So oh man, it's true. Ah, let me do that. Alright, so x came first, so it's horizontal like that. I don't know what the center is, but uh I can find it. And actually I do know what the center is. So the center is going to be three zero. All right, three zero. A A three and B is five because remember it doesn't matter in hyperbola. A comes first always. All right. Um, A squared plus B squared is C squared. Nine plus twenty five is. A squared plus B squared. Why am I drawing a blank? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. 9 plus 25 is going to be 34. All right. And then the square root of 34 is C. All right. So now, all right. So now we can find the vertex from the center. So I got to go right three. So for the vertex, uh, six zero and left three so zero zero all right and then for the co vertices I gotta go up five so three five and down five which is going to be three negative five all right and then I've got to find 
the foci, which is gonna be on the same axis right here. So notice the X value change, right? So here, let me just do it real quick. We're gonna do three plus. Where did I do it out here? Three plus the square root of 34 and three minus the square root of 34. I don't want to run over here because I'm going to actually print all these off when I'm done and turn it into a solution. Got key. Um, so, 3 plus. I'm just doing this in my, um, doing this on my calculator. So, 8.8. .8. So, 8.8, .8, comma, 0. And... Three minus the square root of thirty-four. Negative two point eight. Oh, two point eight comes zero. Sorry. There we go. And write an equation for the asymptote. All right. So again, this one is horizontal. So that that equation is going to be asymptote. I'll put that a y. Plus or minus a divided by b x minus nope 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 hold on it's horizontal I keep tripping plus or minus b over a x minus h plus k there we go so we'll do y equals plus or minus b over a x minus what was h3 plus zero or you can just leave it like that all right uh list of vertex focus in direction is cool so because this is square, first of all i'm gonna write this back in standard form this is vertex form so y plus two squared equals Eight times x minus three. All right. So now, real quick, four p equals eight. So p equals two. Now, uh, vertex. Vertex is going to be h three k two. All right. That's our vertex. Um, since p is p is two from here. By the way, y is squared, so this is horizontal. So I'm gonna go left two to get my focus. So one, two, and then for my directors, so I'm gonna go right. Wait, I'm gonna go right. I did this backwards. I did that backwards. I just caught it. <coughs> for the focus, I'm gonna go right because that's positive. It says positive, so I go right two. So five, two. Because it opened up like this. And then the directrix, I'm gonna go left to. So since I gotta go left to from three, it'll be one right there. So X is one. There's my directrix right there. X is one. Alright. Alright, this video has gotten way over. So I'm gonna actually stop this and make a part two. Alright, um, so I'll see you part two.